last year uh, to violence, you know, not just here in Gary, Chicago, Louisiana, it's in Baltimore, it's in communities all over this country, African communities, mainly all over this country. Uh, there was a time when we did not have police in our communities. We did not have prisons. The village took care of it. People kind of talked about that early. And we, we're realistic. We know things are going on now. That we're realistic with what needs to happen. But I was talking about this one day with this brother from Giddy. And he spoke after I spoke. He said, you know what? We still don't have police and prisons in our community. The village take, takes care of it. Uh, we were at a, a program recently over in Chicago with, uh, with men at the DuSable Museum. And one of the things that was talked about was that we only have 28% of the daddies in the homes. So we don't have parents in our homes anymore. We have a parent if we're lucky. We have a parent if we're lucky. Growing up in L.A., you guys, everybody saw the movie Boys in the Hood, I'm sure. We saw what happened when the football player was about to go to USC, got shot and killed, and his partner wanted to go and act revenge, but he got home, and who was there to stop him? Daddy. His daddy. His daddy. We need these daddies in the home. You know, we, we fight against all this locking our people up and putting them in prison because we know that's the easy solution. But it's not really easy. It's hard. It's destroying our communities. Everybody has heard, I'm sure, of Michelle Alexander's book that talks about the new Jim Crow and what this prison and what these uh, mass incarcerations are doing to our communities. We see it in African communities all throughout this country. So we have to do a, take a little deeper. You know, find alternatives. We're against these sweeps because we know, you know, we we know we need to have some issues. We got issues of crime in our community. We don't want this crime in our community. We also don't want these police from outside of Gary coming in, locking our people up. <laughs> really? Stopping our people or because they got a light out, or because they're, they're tagged Chicago and fired. Either. And when they want to from the community, we can say, okay, I know you, you better go get that taken care of. <laughs> you know, we gotta have some alternatives. Stop locking our people up. Really? And putting all these more economic yeah, pressures on the people. Gotta more police is there not There has to be alternatives. That's right. Uh, we talked about the music. A lot of people already talked about the music. Sister, Sister T Terry, Brother Kojo, Brother Sal, you've been out there with us. We've been out almost every Saturday on what has been the coldest winter in the history of Chicago, or the history of this area, at the McDonald's on Marquette and Sony. Just about every Saturday morning at 10.30, demanding that, that McDonald's stop buying commercials on these radio stations that tell our children to kill each other. They call our daughters the B word. We call them female dogs. We call our, our sisters garden tools. Tell them they ain't nothing but strippers. Or thots. Y'all know what a thot is? Yeah. Who out here? Everybody know what a thot is. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to say it. A thot is them holes out there. Yeah. That's on the radio constantly, every day, and sponsored by McDonald's and so many other corporations. Well, Rush Limbaugh disrespected. Mim, who did that sign up about Trayvon? Oh, yeah. And so far as Kaylee Anthony's law in Florida, I'm with the Trayvon Martin Institute. Uh, we want to wear purple on Wednesdays for Trayvon, passing the Trayvon law. Also, we're going to remember Trayvon on Wednesday. Florida, Kaylee Anthony, Florida, Trayvon. And also Florida is doing abortion back to back on Sundays in Florida as we speak. It's been six months ago. Thank the Lord for my retro and life dynamics. Also the pro-life action league. It'll learn right to life. And thank you, ma'am, for bringing me here today. If it was not for my friend, I wouldn't be here. Oh yeah, I'll get that. Break every chain. Yes. Okay. Thank you.